someone to film the panel? Great. I'll see you later. Why? Your short queerness made it all the way to the LGBTQ plus student film festival. I understand they only accept the best of the best in queer student filmmaking. What was that experience like for you? I really wanted to make something that highlights the beauty of community and getting into the festival really validated the importance of positive representation both behind and in front of the camera. I got to work with an all BIPOC crew and it was such a healing experience for me. I have to say that as a fellow artist, it is so great to hear about how your practice is also serving the community. I feel like I'm learning so much just by being here. Bye. Oh my God, Tim's like always doing the most. He called me the other night at like 2 a.m. because of a mental health crisis. Yeah, he did that to me too. Oh, and he's always like wearing expensive shit and it's like, get a therapist? This is my gap year project. Whatever, I guess this is what this space is for and people like him really need it. Gay men of color are always trauma dumping on femmes. I really love how you steal my time from though. Not everyone has the patience for that. Thanks. Can someone help me apply for this award? e, &E could really benefit from it and my imposter syndrome's killing me. I'll help you. I'm still working on my Woodrow proposal, so I'm in the same boat. Wait, you're applying for Woodrow too? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just making a video about e, &E. No, it's um, it's a film about chosen family, but it's inspired by e, &E. It's for my Woodrow scholarship though. I think Sky is planning on making a web series on e, &E too. You guys should chat. Sky and Tucker are so cute together. Yeah, Thurk is really pretty. Are you guys out to your parents? That's kind of a loaded question. Why? Because I think I came out to my mom the other day, but like, not on purpose. She played my porn for me. What? what? Yeah, she found my porn and then she like fully blasted it at like full volume and then she started yelling about how it's totally okay if I'm gay, and then my legs just like took me out of the room. Like, my soul leapt out of my body. <laughs> At least she accepts you. You should save this for your Rolodex of future trauma porn essays. Oh my God, you should put this in your proposal. You're so right. You wanna come over at my place tonight to work on it? Sure. Oh my god, I love Deb Ever. Do you get the vibe she's like only into white girls? Yes! Oh. <laughs> Do you want to just stay for dinner? Sure, let me just call my mom first. Ma! Ang kaibigan ko magkain dito! Okay, Hi, I'm gonna stay at my friend's place for dinner. Okay, bye. Ugh, my parents are always gatekeeping me about being Chinese Filipino. They're like, why did we bring you here? You always yell and talk back to us. I do that because I want to, not because I'm assimilated. My parents are like that too. They're gentrifying that building and turning it into a condo. Yeah, I've heard about this. 
Oh, get out your camera. I have a really good idea for our video. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spilling the Congee with me, Jen. Real estate developers are trying to turn this building into yet another condo development. Here at Exhausted Not Exotic, a local community art space for queer and trans racialized teens, we, the youth, are working intergenerationally to translate documents for these small business owners so the city doesn't take advantage of them with their big words. Save our Chinatown and support Exhausted Not Exotic. Was that good enough for your book? Yeah. There's this local politician that wants to interview me and I want to make sure that I'm good for my on-screen debut. You should put that in your award application. I've decided karaoke nights at E&E. &E. Yes. What do you think? Like, yeah. I think we should do something like themed. We'll figure out a host for it. Oh my it, God, so hey. Hi, oh my God, I didn't know you were working today. Yeah, it's been such a dead shift. I'm oh. so happy you're here. Hold on. Oh, you know what? Don't worry about it. My manager's not gonna notice anyways. Oh my God, thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> yeah, thanks. This is Savannah, by the way. She was in Lion Beat. Oh, cool, do you model? No, God. One of my articles got in. I have the face for radio. <laughs> Do you know Priya Chowdhury? Yeah, she performed at one of your events, right? What did you think of her? I don't know. Her music was... Raw, I guess. Why? Okay, you can't tell anyone about this, but she's having conflicts with another community member. What happened? She kind of like blew up at this person in front of everyone and I had to calm her down. And she sent me this long paragraph about how unfair I've been treating her. I think she's just jealous because we both do community organizing and like art stuff. Do you know why she blew up? She says this person mistreated her. Did they? I don't want to invalidate her, but she's kind of generally dramatic. Skye says the same thing where she over-exaggerates a lot. I don't know, I feel like a lot of people bring their trauma into these community spaces and I just end up being the target because I run it. But it's like, I have trauma of my own too. Tell me more. I'm running myself into the ground for e and &E and no one appreciates it. Like, this shit with Priya happens every week. Maybe once I get the award, things will get better, but my parents have a lot of say in the space because it's their restaurant above it. But it's like, I'm the reason they're still together. Like, I got good at handling community conflict because I was mediating their marriage. Wow, I wish you didn't have to do all that. I know it might not mean much because I'm new, but I see the difference you're making even if you can't. Like, e and &E is the reason so many people found their chosen families. Oh my god, I should put what you're saying in my awards application. I'm so glad you're doing this video. Everyone should see how talented you are. Yeah, this has to be really good because if I don't get it, I'm going to be stuck here like a child forever. I think the reason I wanted to do your book in the first place is because my parents keep lying to me. Like, my mom knows the exact reason why I fucking hate my dad, and she still won't divorce him. Do you think our moms would have been friends with each other? Mm, probably. <sighs> Fuck, we still need to write our essays. Wait, I've got buzzwords for you. Hi, I'm Savannah Lynn, and I'm ready to exploit my trauma for capital gain. When my parents immigrated to Canada with nothing on their backs but a suitcase and me in their arms. Wait, wait, wait we need to work in the coming out shit. I knew. Our survival in the land of the free. <laughs> I'm not accepted by queer people, nor am I accepted by my parents. 
As a queer woman of color, the struggles I- What I've this scholarship means to me is overcoming my adversity. I need therapy and an award. It's beautiful. Did we really just spend 72 hours together? <laughs> yeah. I gotta go help my mom out with my brother, but text me when you get home. Yeah. Cool. You should really come by e, &E more often. We could really use your voice. <laughs> See ya. See ya. been an hour. Yeah, I'm home. I just got distracted with some yearbook stuff. The forecast, cloudy and windy and cold this morning, warming up a bit this afternoon with a few sunny breaks. You got Today's high here 33 degrees. He didn't buy me that camera. What's it an apparatus? Don't dang go ya. I got what you need, like, whoa. Move fast, move slow. Catch me on a roll. Come say hello. Three, two, one, let's go. Do you wanna think out of the box? Pull a Nancy Drew and connect the dots. Do you want it? Do you see it? Got it all on lock. Yeah, everybody wanna get like me. Like me. Walk in like a VIP. Yeah, yeah, so fresh that you can't compete. I got what you need, like, whoa. Whoa.